Welcome back. We've got a boss awaiting us up ahead, so let's go face it as we want to destroy this blue orb. Not looking forward to this boss. In a good way, oddly. What is that? It looks like the orbs we've come across before, but it's far larger. I have an uneasy feeling about it. There's a cold, pale light flickering inside of it. Man, it's huge! It's kind of pretty. I definitely sense some kind of power coming from it. Is this the source of the energy you were sensing earlier, Emma? There's no doubt about it. I suspect this orb is the cause of all the strange things going on in this castle. If we can destroy it, I'm betting everything will return to normal. All right, just leave it to me! What? Oh, hold on, Milliam. Don't sweat it. Lammy's busted up tougher looking stuff than this. Let's smash this orb and get out of this creepy castle already! You idiot, we have no idea what it might do. Go, go, Lammy! Lloyd the. Ah! Ooh. Milliam! What did I just say? Are you alright? Uh, I forgot about those stupid barriers! I guess it makes sense that it would be protected by one of those barriers. Wait, something's wrong. Whoa! W what's happening to it? I feel an incredible torrent of energy pouring out of it. Everyone, get back! Here he is. Nosferatu. What is that? A, a bone-faced fiend? A Nosferatu? How could it manifest something like that in the real world? It's on a completely different level than the foes we've encountered so far. Julian, Carno, get behind us. <gasps> There's no way we can afford to lose. Not here. Let's give it everything we've got. Right. Okay, this, this is attempt dangerous. number two for me, because I did not get a good start My on turn. the previous one. So, let's see about a noble command. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass. Yeah. Leave. Understood. Understood. Go. We can coming out with something like Gale quickly. Let's the get these four. little guys. Well, that would have been yeah. nice if it killed them, though. But you know. Arcus, activate. Gonna, gonna unleash and try and get rid of these little guys. Because they are the issue for me right now. Okay, that's good. Get rid of those two, please. Thank you. Because I don't want you. I don't want to spam S crafts to defeat this guy. It's just that's that's what I want to. Get the little ones out of the way right now. Now is our chance. Because he'll Don't call some allies pass. again you now. Leave it to me. Which is what's the good thing is here is that we get control of this fight as a result of turn. that. So what do we get? Two over there? So any of us? One behind us. Okay, so Crystal Flood that way. God no nightmares, that could be bad. Ooh. Yes. My turn. Okay, so kind of want rid of the guy behind us. It's the best way of doing that. Hmm. Hmm, because I want to throw out some more stuff, more buffs, etc. But I kind of do need this other one down for the count, really. Because he'll be an issue otherwise. Okay, I'm thinking taking advantage of that crit with Reen. Because it's like, that that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? It's like, we've got our Zerampowder around here just in case, but there's a crit coming. 
Taking the advantage of his S-craft that's ready in there would be wise. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, that was frozen. Okay. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> Forgot it would skip past Laura. I was going to wait. And like, I lost the crit now. Oh, all right. Fine. Crystal Flood. Hopefully we can freeze it. Very well. All right. How are we on Noble Command? Our ATS is up, our speed is up. Those are the two important ones right now. Keep trying to get this freeze on it. Your place. I should really just look at it and see what, like, in terms of, like, yeah. people I can do on it. I know freeze seems to work yeah. on it because it got on it a minute ago, so. Like, go on, call allies. Oh, crap. Okay, it's useless. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Useless is out for a little while. Laura's back. Your link's gone. But it's like, yeah, let's say, an immortal king from ancient legends with authority over souls. Takes the souls of the innocent and devours them. Gives me a Zeram capsule. It's like, the chance of getting freeze on it, though, is 20. But we did get it on it once and saved us a turn. Which is like, fantastic, Emma. Ah, we've got to go with Hydro Cannon. My turn. Yes, indeed. Hmm... Means with his health so low, it's so tempting to just bring up the S craft Second at this point. Gale. Of course, Gale's only going to hit once, isn't it? My soul's back. Yeah. What? This is nothing. It's that case of like, once we got rid of the little guys, it was all good, really. Know your place. So let's just do it. Because it's like, I reserve that for when we're about to win. And look, his health is super low, so... Flames, gather on my I wanted to use it on the crit anyway, but... It's very much like, once, once we got rid of the little guys, we were good. There we go. My first attempt was basically all the little guys had to go first. It's like, oh, okay, well, I'm screwed. This one, I had a chance. Ooh, ooh, lovely stuff. <laughs> Not bad. It means I can sell those rams as well now for money. That should suffice. Yes. I'm just getting started. I'm awesome. Can we win? What a terrifying opponent. S so that was... Careful. Something still feels wrong. What? Watch out! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, how could I have been so careless? I had no idea it had this much power left. Very reminiscent when we faced a certain boss over in um, Zero. <sighs> Laura! Uh, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you use this. It's just a tut. Just a tut. Oh, I can't believe this. How rude. <sighs> this is bad. Even Lammy can't move. Looks like I've got no choice. Reen, no. If you're not careful, you'll be drawn into it. <laughs> What are you? What? Huh? What was that? See, that's interesting in different ways. Very different ways. Is everyone all right? I'm fine. That was really bright. What just happened? I, I have no idea. It all happened so quickly. 
I heard the sound of something piercing through the air. Yeah, right through that orb too. It looked like a lance. But how could someone hurl something that large with that much force? A lance? Yeah, and whoever threw it was standing right up there until just a moment ago. It was a golden-haired woman, shrouded by a strange light. Golden hair, you say? But, but that sounds just like... <sighs> Laura! Th that's impossible. No, it's very possible. There's no one here. Not that I honestly expected there would be. That pale glow surrounding the castle seems to have disappeared, too. Is that because the orb was destroyed? But that would mean the lance that destroyed it. <sighs> the lance maiden. Oh, yes. Just maintaining the grass here. I thought it might have been her. But it seems like it was the Steel Maiden. Still, we really are out of time. To the growing, growing? Yep, glowing green eyes. What color are eyes normally? Name of the game, everyone. I can't remember now. We'll see soon enough. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. I know. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Grail locket. Keep up the good work. A new day, everyone. Day three. Thank you for all you've done for us joining our stay, Klaus. Please have a safe journey, everyone. I apologize for not being more of service to you during your long way to return home, my lady. Of all that happened yesterday, you hardly had any time to relax and enjoy your visit. On the contrary, I had ample time to enjoy soaking in the atmosphere of home. And thanks to that wonderful, nutritious dinner, after we returned from the castle so tired, I was able to sleep well, too. Indeed, for all that happened, I feel surprisingly well rested today. I'm just glad that the children were alright. <laughs> it sounds like they got a real earful from their families, though. They deserve every minute. So, just what was it we witnessed yesterday? Ah, yeah. I'm still mulling over where the lance that saved our skins last night could have come from. Hmm, I only know what you told me, I'm afraid. There's no doubt in my mind that it was St. Sandlot. She must have sensed our peril confronting that strange spectre and chose to lend us a helping hand. Well... Honestly, I can't think of an explanation that sounds any more plausible than that. Considering the situation, it's almost hard to believe it could have been anything else. Well, that's certainly true. Feels like everything that happened last night was some grand dream. I think that of all of us, you have perhaps the least right to say that. <laughs> Actually... One of the accounts of St. Sandlot's and Death Places is right around this time of year. So it's almost the anniversary, and last night was a full moon, so it doesn't seem all that implausible that her spirit might manifest itself somewhere like the castle. I've heard that account of St. Sandlot's death before. Hold on a minute. Even if all that stuff about St. Sandlot is true, that doesn't explain all the weird things you did yesterday. Well, I learned a lot about curses from my grandmother growing up. And working with barriers isn't all that difficult if you put your mind to it. Really? Well... I suppose I'll take your word for it. I'm not sure I can say the same. I'll be sure to inform the Viscount of all that transpired here. In the meantime, you should be heading off to the next location. You're to visit for your field study. 
Hope your journey is a safe and pleasant one. See, now I fancy a Viscount Biscuit. They're lovely. It's, it's, it's... It's like a biscuit base, mint top. It's, it's sort of like, like thin mints. I think you have those in America. But it's got a biscuit base. Or cookie base, whatever you want to call it. It's just like, ooh. Thank you. Take care, Klaus. And give my regards to Father. The same to you, my lady. I hope we shall all have the opportunity to meet again. As do I. I'd enjoy the opportunity to test my own swordsmanship against you in the future. I wish you all the best. We still have some time left before the train comes, so we can tell everyone goodbye as we make our way to the station. That sounds good. Let's be off then. Nah, I can't bother to speak to the NPCs. What's the point in that? Oh yes, please take this book with you for your journey. It's apparently quite the interesting read, so I'm hoping it'll help the long train ride pass more quickly. It really bothers me that they go like, Hey, I've got this book. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 11. It's like starting Cold Steel first. It's stupid. I can't believe that you're already leaving. It feels as though my throat's going weird and you only just arrived. Please do be careful on the journey home. I look forward to seeing you all again. I hope you will come visit again if you get the chance. I'll have plenty of food ready for you whenever you do. Take care on your journey back, Lady Laura. I believe you'll all be making your way to the fortress next, correct? Please do take care. Wait, care was here the entire time? I look forward to our next meeting. Maybe that's who saved us and not the Lance Maiden. It sounds like those two kids are thinking long and hard about what they did. If they truly wish to become stronger, they'll come and join us here in the training hall. I'd be more than happy to train them. I saw a weird light over at the castle again last night. So that was seriously since Sandlot? Man, I'm stoked I was able to see her. Hm. A lot happened last night, huh? But I guess all's well that ends well. Hope you have a safe journey on the rest of your field study. And there's no finer way to spend the morning than training. Take care on your way back, everyone. You're always welcome to come back and challenge us another time. We'll be sure to keep owning our skills in the meantime. I really was losing myself in my panic yesterday evening. Meanwhile, Father Hamilcar, Hamilcar remained calm and collected throughout it all. I never would have been able to calm down were it not for him either. Irresponsible as he may be, perhaps there's more to him than meets the eye. The evil eye. Father Hamilcar may be the most irresponsible man I know. All he does is tell fairy tales to children, but perhaps there's more to him than meets the evil eye. What's this I heard about St. Sandlot showing up last night? I just wish I was there to catch a glimpse of her my, myself. Then I'd have plenty of material for my stories. Lady Laura. The three of us made lunch for you, so please take it. Oh. Thank you. I'm sure it'll be delicious. We hope you enjoy it. Owen, we're packed enough for your lady friends too. Wait, what about us? You did muster up an admirable performance yesterday, I suppose. But don't forget, we won't forgive you if you get too close to Lady Laura. And lest you blithely forget, take these as our helpful reminder. Goodbye. I don't think I need the wind to clue me in on to what they're implying. Must this petulant gaggle be annoying right to the very end? Yes. You three did assist Lady Laura last night, so... You have my thanks. But that still doesn't excuse you getting any close and personal with her. You need to keep your distance from her, got it? We shan't forgive you otherwise. Please do be careful on your way back. I hope you continue to flower in the fertile soil of Academy life, Lady Laura. Do come back and visit Legram again sometime. And the fact that you'll be leaving us again means that my days of pining for your soon return will begin anew. Please do be careful on your journey, Lady Laura. Seems like Junior and Carter were trying to form a little group. The Junior Eisenritter, they were calling it. <laughs> they may have had us all worried, but that's an idea only a kid from the Gram would dream up. To tell you the truth, I once tried to do the same thing when I was a child, as did my father. It really is sad to see you all go. I look forward to the day when you all come back to visit the Gram. 
Of course, it'd be nice if you could enjoy a more relaxed stay next time. I'm really in your debt for saving Kano last night. I told him it was dangerous, but he just wouldn't listen. Come on, Mom, I'm fine now. Don't you realize how much more I worried about you? I know, I know, so just stop crying, okay? She's been like this ever since we got back. I'm really sorry for making everyone worry last night. Don't deserve to call myself a man after making my mum cry. Maybe I should just put my junior eyes into dreams on hold until I'm a more dependable man. Yeah, I agree. Catch you later, doggy. Woof woof. These past two days have certainly flown by. It'd be a shame to see you all go. Meanwhile, Soraya and her friends have been beside themselves with despair all morning at the thought of you leaving. <laughs> Please do come back to little Gram if you get the chance. Everyone here would be glad to welcome you all once again. Please do come back and visit Legram if you get the chance. Sure everyone would be glad to see you again. Oh my, don't tell me. Are you planning on moving on to the new fishing grounds? I cannot allow you all to continue outdoing me. I have every intention of catching up to you. So let us meet again. Right, that sounds swell. <laughs> She's quite the strange one, isn't she? I have every intention of becoming the finest angler in the land, so let us meet again. Till then. I bid you good day. And the fox surrounding the castle last night just wafted away all of a sudden. Uh, it's gotta be an omen of St. Sandlot's return from above. The spirits must have summoned her to save the children. Be careful on your way back, everyone. I'm still not really sure what happened back at the castle, but... Maybe it was Adios telling us not to misbehave anymore? Dad really let me have it when I got home, too. So I'll be careful from now on. Really can't thank you all enough for last night. I've given this fool the scolding of a lifetime, too, so don't you worry about that. Take care on your journey back, and good luck with your studies. Right then, I'll be taking Julian along with me to pray today. It's all thanks to Adios and the spirits that he returns safely, after all. Not offering our prayers to them would be the height of disrespect. The pretzel is gone. We still seem to have a little time before the next train leaves. What should we do? It might be best to just wait in the station until the train arrives. Wait in the station. Yeah, let's go wait inside. We need to buy our tickets for the trip to the fortress, too. Hey, Eusus, wanna buy me some snacks? Buy your own food. <laughs> Lively as ever, I see. <laughs> Let's head in then. Okay, I want to see your eyes here. Because I'm sure they were yellow. Or an amber or something like that. Like the little grammar area, like, like in terms of like the town, the dungeon. Ebel Highway, it's like very well designed, I'd say. Very well designed. Ooh, I can see the castle for a second there. Wait, it's gone again. <laughs> well, the forest is quite dense around here. Still. <laughs> it bothers me at this point, it's like... The fact you can see through the ground over there at the bottom of the window, it's like... Yeah, the camera angle is a bit off. We'll forgive them, though. Still, we saw a lot of weird things in that castle. It was one thing after another from the moment we walked through the door. Um, what are you looking at me for? Never mind. That was pretty great. Did you have this much fun on all of your field studies? I just wish it was a little longer. These two days went by so quickly. Well, the field study isn't over. We're on our way to our next lo location, yes. <laughs> so don't relax just yet. Oh, I won't. Looks like I must say farewell to Lugram once again. For the time being. Wasn't expecting to, but... I can't help but feel a little homesick already. I could understand why. It was a really welcoming place. 
I didn't ever get the sense that social class was, were keeping people apart. True. Seems like a place that we nobles could learn much from. I'd definitely like to visit it again in the future. <laughs> it would be great to bring Fee and the others next time, too. You're all more than welcome in Lagram any time. I can only hope I'll continue to learn and grow between now and when I next return. After leaving Lagram, we changed trains at Breyhardt Station and rode the Kreutzen Main Line north, heading to Keldick. So the Doppler shift exists in this world. Doom, 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 doom. Alright, let's go for our schedule again. We're currently en route to Keldic, where we'll rendezvous with Group B. From there, we'll take the Transcontinental Railroad to the fortress on the Empire's eastern border. The fortress is one of the Imperial Army's largest strongholds. It's sometimes referred to as the wall that protects the nation from the threat of the Calvert Republic. I've heard it's ludicrously gigantic, almost an icon of military excess. It also houses the two railway guns and has a military exercise ground on the premises. Aren't those the weapons that Gwyn said he regretted constructing? Yeah. Uh, these two massive orbital cannons pointed toward the east at Calvert. Or more specifically, they're aimed at the buffer zone between us and them, Crossbell State. They are pretty crazy, yeah. It's like you're looking at a mountain of iron. I was pretty overwhelmed when I first saw them. Wait. You've actually seen the railway guns in person? Yeah, Gramps took Claire, Lecter, and me to see them this one time. These are the mightiest weapons wrought by the hands of men since the Great Collapse. I want you to consider what it means that such weapons have been placed here. Or well, something like that, anyway. To consider what it means is a flair for the dramatic. I'll give him that. Come to think of it, today is the day, isn't it? The day that the Chancellor is scheduled to depart for Crossbell with Prince Oliver. Yes, the trade conference kind of snuck up on us, huh? I think that's where Lecter's going, too. I want to go to Crossbell. So do I. There's supposed to be this really famous theatre group there. And they have a huge theme park, right? Well, that's what I've heard. You probably know more about it than I do. I mean, you never know, Millie. You may get to go in Cold Steel 4. Apparently, President Toa is going as part of the entourage to further her studies. Really? She never fails to impress. She's been getting job offers from a bunch of different companies, ready to hire her right after graduation. Well, she does merit the high esteem people lavish on her. She's the pride of the academy. 